Oh my gosh, guys. All right. So basically, in today's video, we are going to be reacting to this amazing YouTuber. An amazing YouTuber. And he dropped a video. Uh, well, the YouTuber's name is called Skate, by the way. Like, Skate BTW. And he dropped this video a while ago called The Richest Roblox Dev. So as most of us know, we already know who the richest kid on Roblox is, and that's Hazem. But... I don't think any one of us know who's the richest Roblox dev. So we're about to literally be reacting to that right now. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, look at my boy. I, hold up. Boom. I already liked the video. I, I, I'm not going to subscribe yet because I believe he only dropped, like, one video or two videos so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, he dropped this video and all that. But, like, I got to see another one to, if I'm going to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? But let's just see how this is. If this is good, I'm going to subscribe. I... And by the way, I did not watch this. I promise you, I, guys, I did not watch this already. So all this stuff that we're, I'm about to see, you about to see, we about to see. All right, let's get into it. Pushing the boundaries of what is possible between aggressive monetization tactic. Hold up, dude, dude, this is already fire. I want to make sure that quality is good. Hold up, let me turn on my screen brightness because I need to make, yo, bro, my boy, my boy editing like Alex. When we know how Alex edit, come on now. And well, okay, no, not, okay, he not editing like Alex. He edited in like. Now, nah, cause Alex does a lot more editing, like a uh, way more. He does like he's editing like, ah, dude. I would say Cubing, but I haven't watched Cubing's videos enough to like tell. Instantly breaking Roblox player count records. Preston has solidified himself as a cornerstone in the Roblox developer community. But wait a minute, how did he get this far? To find this out, we have to journey all the way back to September 2nd, 2011. The first day that Preston would log on to the game that would change his life forever. Preston began his Roblox journey by the name of Silver Sword Gold 2. He took an early obsession with sword RPG games, creating three before releasing his first big project in 2012. Limited Tycoon. Preston was just 11 years old at the time, creating a what? game that actually followed Roblox's limited market system. And at this point- Hold on. Don't tell me Doom was actually smart from a baby now. What? Okay, that's actually crazy. It was beginning crazy. to look like the birth of a prodigy. Fast forward a few years and Preston would go on to release his first two profitable games at the age of 13, Guest Defense and Guest Defense 2. I'm sure you can guess what the main gameplay loop of this game was. This is a remake I found that another guy made and oh my goodness, OG Roblox was a time. Believe it or not, I remember these games like it was yesterday. Yes guys, I am old, go away. It's so crazy to think that I would- How old are you? How old are you, my boy? Ah, oh, he hit it. I can't see it. I, I don't know how old he is. All right, let's just keep watching. Was playing these games at the same age that Preston was making them. The young prodigy would go on to release a few more games, resulting in minor success at best. But then, in October 2014, Preston released the game that would change everything. Giant Survival was a round-based survival game that would go on to be Preston's first big hit, amassing almost 40 million plays before eventually being closed. This game even inspired a sequel, Giant Survival 2, but as with the first one, it also stopped being updated and eventually was closed. By this time, Preston was beginning to become a recognized name in the Roblox developer community. He had already transitioned his former studio, Spark Studios, into big games in 2015. He then proceeded to release a variety of games, with most reaching limited success at best. Preston was quiet for a few years, but it's now April 2018 and Preston would go on to release a flurry of simulator games every two weeks. Here's where the game we all know and love began, with the release of Pet Simulator 1. Pet Sim was a smash hit, amassing over 50,000 users. Hold on, bro. What? Coil has been there from the beginning? Hold on. And with the Coil has been there from the beginning. W friend, bro. What the heck? Release of Pet Simulator 1. Pet Sim was a smash hit, amassing over 50,000 users on the first day of release. Preston knew he had something special here, so he would go on to update this game nearly 20 times. Pet Sim 1 is very similar to the current game we know and love, and you can definitely see where the foundation of the later games comes from. In Pet Sim 1, you would actually buy hats as well as pets to increase your pet power. What? Pretty interesting, but I'm definitely glad they changed this feature. The pets also looked way different compared to what we're used to in Pet Sim X. They look kind of like, I don't know, derpy for lack of a better word. And now we're going to fast forward all the way to 2019, the year I would consider to be Preston's most influential year before the release of Pet Sim X. Releasing titles such as Build and Survive, a remake of Giant Survival, and one of Big Game's biggest hits, Big Paintball, Preston was- Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Biggest. These are screenshots, right? So hear me out, hear me out. So these are screenshots. That means 
that if these are screenshots, then that means these games are these are current players in the games. Hold on. Hold on. What, what big games, bro? Close this out. Hold on. Uh, wait. Am I bugging? Okay, my restaurant. Dang, Giant Survival really do got 1K people playing that joint. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Biggest hits, big paintball. Preston was beginning to climb the mountain of success, and he was approaching the summit very quickly. Build and Survive is a game where you do exactly what the title entails. You build and you survive. Can't really go much deeper than that. And as you can see, it's pretty fun. I definitely remember playing this with my cousins back in the day. And honestly, it's just absurd to see where Preston has gone from his humble beginnings even just four short years ago. Preston even added himself dancing at the shop. Next, Big Games released the Giant Survival remake, which How you the richest Roblox, like, how you one of the richest Roblox developers, bro, but you got no drip. Like, bro, I know bro ain't never did a, like, a spread before. I know he never did a money spread before. Like, he one of the richest Roblox developers, yeah, he, like, bro... Lil bro ain't never did, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck. He never did a money spread before. I could possibly go ban for ban with him right now. I, if, if we being honest, if we being honest, I could go ban for ban with Lil bro right now, bro. I mean, let me, let me, let me, let me see his rolling mons. I, I most likely will go ban for ban with Lil bro. Come on now. Let me see, let me see what Lil bro rocking with. How much rap? Am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm going to keep it a buck. He still ain't doing money spread, though. So, I, yeah. He, he he ain't like that. That's, that's just an illusion. Let's keep it going. Next, Big Games released the Giant Survival remake, which was met with huge success, gaining over 216 million visits to date. I'll be honest, Preston does seem to like his Giant Survival games. He's released like three of them over the last decade, but they're fun, so I'm not complaining. While these numbers may seem pretty huge, they actually pale in comparison to Preston's biggest hit of this year, a game we all still know and love, Big Paintball. Big Paintball offered a place for those who just couldn't compete in sweatier FPS games such as Arsenal and Phantom Forces, and it allowed people to just kick back and relax enjoying some good old-fashioned roblox paintball yeah this game is considered cap 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 because if you're going to big paintball with me i swear you ain't gonna sit and relax i swear what that what that what up look 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 at this gun i bought a year ago you you think you're gonna sit and relax with me in there i'm gonna win every single time scroll down Look at that dark matter gun. You want to see what that y'all y'all want to see how that look? Let me show y'all. No one's getting a chance if I'm playing that. Just letting you know. Big game's biggest success so far, aside from the pet simulator games, amassing almost 1.5 billion visits so far. Next, we're gonna pay a visit to one of the other games released this year, the Giant Survival Remake. This was a massive throwback to Preston's first truly viral game, and it most definitely did not disappoint. The gameplay is fun, and you can definitely see the graphical leap from this game to Pet Simulator X. It definitely does have its issues, though, as you can see here. Like, this guy just cannot even move, so unlucky for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's been updated in a while in all honesty, so that's probably why. These two games were likely Preston's first taste of true wealth, and he would only seek to build his business empire even You know what's crazy, bro? He probably do got that car in real life. Further, however, what Preston didn't know is that it would take a massive mistake for him to truly reach his full potential as a developer. Pet Simulator 2 released on December 1st, 2019 with all the hype in the world surrounding its announcement. People were absolutely stoked for the second installment of the game that was beloved across Roblox. However, unfortunately, the hype would not last. The game was doomed to failure from the start as it was released with very few features, including some very basic features of Pet Sim 1s that players had already gotten used to. Trading wasn't in the game unless you had VIP, you couldn't upgrade your pets to gold, and you couldn't even mass or auto-delete pets. 
Oh, and if I forgot to mention it, VIP was a time limited game pass. Like it would run out after you bought it. I will say that the upgrade system was pretty cool, but honestly, it just overall felt like the game was extremely rushed and released just for the sake of getting a game out there. Preston even tweeted beforehand that the game was expected to be extremely underwhelming as seen here. As Pet Sim 2's release inches even closer, I want to set some expectations. At launch, there will only be two worlds, three eggs, and 23 pets. He would also commit to updates every week after launch. This brings us to what I think is the biggest learning experience Preston has had in his career so far. If you know that something isn't ready, don't release it. I think the game being rushed was a huge reason why it wasn't as successful as it could have been. It seemed like players were just offered a new map, which is actually very hard to navigate in all honesty, and they were just expected to hand over their money and enjoy it. The game was also heavily advertised as the first simulator that wasn't pay to win, and well, you guys saw, the game released and you literally had to have VIP to trade. Pretty pay to win if you ask me. You also quite literally could- Bro, he trying to be like me, bro. Preston's trying to copy my methods, because I be doing that. Not get the best pets in the game, and you couldn't even access the latest worlds every update unless you had VIP. I really have no idea what Big Games was thinking with this one. Pet Simulator 2 would go on to be updated only four times before inevitably being discontinued as Preston moved on to other projects. Now, after the massive learning experience that was Pet Sim 2, Preston set his sights on fixing the mistakes he made. Pet Simulator X would release on July 29th, 2021, attracting the attention of dozens of content creators and- out of all pictures, my boy. <laughs> Out of all pictures, you use that one of him. Yo, oh my gosh! Like names like Creecraft, Russo, and more were all. Nah, bro. <laughs> bro, this look like an AI drawn picture of Russo. Wait, is that actually what his Twitter looks like? Hold on, bro. Don't, hold on, I don't want to show nothing that I can't. Uh, hold on, hold on, bro. What's his name? Russo talks. Russo plays. What is it? Dang, I don't even know what his own what his thing is. Hold on, Russo. What's it? Play. Oh, bro, that look AI drawn, bro. Nah, bro, this is like two different people right here. One right here and one right here. My boy. This is like two different people. Right here and then right here. He look like right here, he looked like a Swedish model. Let's keep going now. Playing the game at launch, and it was looking like Preston had finally done it. He'd made Roblox his next big hit. Gaining over 100,000 players on release, Petsimex shot up in popularity almost instantaneously. This would only be the start though, as Preston and his team of devs would work around the clock to produce almost weekly updates. As each week passed, Petsim's concurrent player count would continue to rise almost exponentially. And Preston, being the savvy businessman that he is, decided to capitalize on this hype with a series of plushy releases starting with the huge cat plushie, which I'm sure you guys remember sold out very quickly. With each plushie you purchased, you also received a redeemable code for an in-game version of the pet. These things resold for hundreds on eBay, and they are now considered one of the rarest and most expensive pets in the game, with many players offering dozens of huge pets just for a single huge cat. Preston would continue to release many updates in the coming months, even producing updates for nearly every holiday, including Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's, and more. It was safe to say that players were absolutely hooked, but this was just the beginning. From mid-2022 to now, Petsim began to explode in popularity. The game was averaging 200 to 300k players at once for a time, and began to shatter records almost every time a new update dropped. Nearly every major update in 2023 has had over a million players online, and this is mostly due to Preston offering update gifts for people who are around when the update drops, but it's still absolutely crazy. Talking about crazy numbers, the daycare update on February 25th had over 1.5 million players at one point. Now Preston has continued to release plushies periodically, including releasing extremely limited quantity titanic plushies like the Blobfish Dang. and Hippo Melon. There were only 75 of each of these, and they are currently reselling for over $2,000 on eBay. Not so bad for a stuffed animal. Overall, I think it's pretty clear that Preston has earned his place on the Mount Rushmore of Roblox. Hold on, bro. Okay, so I know he did jailbreak. This one did piggy. What did this guy do? Who is this? Who is this? I that 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 outfit just looks like it looks like a lot of people wear that outfit. 
Roblox developers. He's consistently pushed the limits of the platform, even to the point where people would expect Roblox to go down every time PetSim updated. That's like, this crazy. man single-handedly made Roblox upgrade their servers. Honestly, Preston is a fantastic role model for the next generation of developers. He's perfectly balanced, turning a profit with keeping players coming back. And I'm sure- Turning a large, bro, that man getting money, bro. He having motion. But a lot of y'all don't understand, bro. That man getting motion, bro. It's, bro, all I'm saying is, bro, bro got motion. But he still can't sp show me a band, though. Sure, his career will have many long, prosperous years ahead. Regardless of your opinions regarding how pay to win the game is, you do have to admit that what Preston has accomplished in just a few short years is nothing short of incredible. And that is how Roblox made this kid a millionaire. Guys, this. He can't show me a band, though. That's all I'm saying. He can't. Video he took just hours can't. upon hours to make. So if you've made it this far, please press the like button. And boy, I'm, boy, I'm, I'll subscribe. I'll subscribe, bro. It was a W video. Let me see what anyone in the comments said. My restaurant be like, oh, he completely forgot about my restaurant. The video is excellent. Let's see what other people's wonderful editing. Yeah, for the longest time, I thought Preston was the YouTuber with 20 million subs. That decided to make a Roblox gaming, no, the games making company to make money. Okay. Um, dang, bro. Yeah, that man, that man have emotion, bro. Dang. He still can't show me a band, though, for real. But, hey, man. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. My boy, hey, bro, that's man Skate. He's a W YouTuber. I see why it got 800,000 views. It's literally worth it. But, anyways, I'm out, guys. Bye.